Have you noticed that many of the pieces of functional fitness equipment in today's gym look like something you find in a warehouse or on a dock? Hi and welcome to E3 Strength. My name is Earl and today we're going to be going over one of the many functional fitness equipment in today's gym, the battle rope. Now, somebody got creative when working with ropes or chains or whatever and decided, hey, let's put this in a gym, let's make this work. Trademark it and make some money. But if you're not frequently in the gym or not as creative as these individuals, then how will you know what to do? And that's what today's video is about. The battle ropes are a great tool and here at E3 Strength, we use them for so many different things. We pull sleds, we carry them overhead, we do group core exercises with them. You name it, we can do it. But we're gonna go over just a couple of the simple exercises that you can do next time you're in the gym. And these are gonna be more cardio-based exercises. These are gonna be things that get your heart rate up and to really metabolize a lot of energy. Things you probably wanna do in the second half of your workout if you're doing a resistance-based program. So let's go over the first and most common thing you'll see battle ropes used for, the alternating wave. The alternating wave is great, but step one with the, the wave or anything else that you do, you gotta get your grip and your stance right. So these little things here are not actually handles. This is just wax that keeps the ends of the ropes from fraying. So they're not meant to hold on to. One or two things is gonna happen. They're gonna slip out of your hands or they're gonna come off of the rope, which I've seen happen in other gyms and we've had it happen here. So the first thing we wanna say is choke up a little bit. So you're grabbing a little bit of rope, a little bit of the, uh, the wax plastic pieces. So once you have that grip, you're then gonna take all the slack out of the rope. So it's coming right off the ground. Then take a half step forward. Now, if you ever play with battle ropes, you might be thinking, well, it looks like too much slack. It's not, because you need to be making a wave. Think about unkinking a hose. You're just gonna roll it down toward its anchor point. And if you're doing that, you're not lifting the whole rope. And with this rope, it's very heavy. This is 30 to 50 pounds. So you don't wanna be lifting up 25 pounds, 25 pounds, it's just too much work. So now that you've got your stance right, get an athletic stance if you're not doing any leg work with these drills, and so that looks like this. Hips back, chest up, knees bent. Now from here, the alternating wave is really, really easy. All you're gonna do is unkink one side of the hose, rolling it down, and then do the other. And then you're gonna build up momentum, get them going past each other, and it looks a little something like this. The next thing you can do is a double wave. And this can be hammer grip, a little more bicep activation, or you can keep that traditional grip we were doing earlier. And then all you're gonna do is do the same thing, but with both ropes at the same time. And here's your double wave. That'll get you started. You're working your shoulders, your heart rate's getting up, and you have an isometric contraction in the lower half of your body. Your core's turned on to stabilize both areas that are working, and so it's a full body exercise. But maybe you wanna take it to the next level? Let's throw in a couple leg moves. So say we're doing that alternating wave. Two things that you can do during the alternating wave to really spice up your routine get your alternating leg going, and then start busting out some squats. What makes this challenging is the lower you go to the ground, the harder it is to keep that wave going. You can also bust out some reverse lunges. Now obviously there are tons of other exercises that you can do with battle ropes. So those are just a couple based around the double wave and the alternating wave. You've got things like sidewinders that'll get your shoulders and other little things, but we'll go into that at another time. Hopefully this video will help you get started using those battle ropes you're seeing in your gym. So if you found this video helpful, please give us a like, a comment, or a share. And if you want more information, visit www.e3strength.com.